What's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore? The job loyalty only looks good on a resume and will get you paid 50% less after two years staying on. Doing what's best for you is literally best for you. Sharon said this video, especially if you think about job hopping this year. Let's say company A gets back and you led your dream career in tech as a project manager. Yes, when everyone said they wanted to be astronauts, movie stars, and dinosaur hunters, you said project manager. Follow me, just follow me, just, just follow me. Your salary will be coming on at 75K. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. It's been two years and you're getting a yearly raise of 3%, which happens to be the national average. So now you're at about 79K. I hope y'all following. Now, Company B, however, is advertising the same project manager job at 85K. And you notice now that Company A, the place that you work at, is bringing on new workers at 80K to compete with the market. You can quickly see how this is an issue. Reports over multiple industries are saying the same thing, that employees after two years are finding themselves making less than if they would if they were job hopping. According to ADP's data tracked from September 2023, saying that your current employer in high growth industries may earn you an average of 5.9% annual raise, but jumping to another may earn you significantly more at 9%, sometimes even more depending on opportunity. So why be loyal? How about pensions? Now, pensions were a thing that kept job loyalty high because it basically put the onus on the company to pay you out a certain amount of money based upon how long you work for the company. And whether or not the company's investments did good or bad, you was going to get your paper. And that was good <laughs> up until 1978 when the 401k, or better known as the pensions evil twin cousin Pookie, took over. 401k is basically put all that shit on you. Investing your own money, make sure it's putting the right investments to grow and rolling it over when you leave or have it just disappear into nothingness. And in order to contribute more, you had to make more. Which is funny because you would make more technically if you weren't here. Add this to the reality of looming layoffs even during the times of positive company performance, low severance packages, and demands to come back into the office when working for home was doing just fine for the bottom line. <laughs> I'm gonna need whatever these company heads are smoking because that is some high quality shit. Stop letting these companies make you forget. This is America and everything is negotiable. Share and say this video. You believe.